I'm fixing to start. Good afternoon, Raider Nation. My name is Brent Johnson, broadcasting live on the NFHS Network, powered by Play On Sports. Along by my side is my son again this evening, as we are in the very – this is the very first day of school. I've yet to, to be honest, reassemble my broadcasting crew from – uh last year a couple graduated and i got others uh working and again it's a uh it's a job it, it is a kind of a second job trying to run a crew and and uh, maintain a crew from year to year and but I, i'm so thankful for the ones i've had over the years and, and i'm sure uh i'll be blessed to have uh, multiple members of of the 2017-18 uh athletic year crew for bctv productions as we broadcast over 75 events um, before we get started, I definitely want to recognize our sponsors, and we'll be we'll flash them up on the screen uh, throughout the game uh, to remind you. But our title sponsors for this athletic school year um, is Andy Cawthorn Auto Sales, uh, Coley Electric of Alma, and Family Vision Care. And we'll be talking more about those individual businesses as we progress through this game. Uh, the game uh, that we're highlighting today or broadcasting today is the very first game of the softball season. Uh, the regular season for the Lady Raiders, and they'll be hosting, playing host to uh, Brunswick, uh, the Lady Pirates. Uh, and we're about to get this thing started. Uh, Brunswick is comes from Region 2 6A, a 6A school, as we are from Region 2 2A. Uh, so a big discrepancy as far as the size of schools, but same amount of girls on the field um, that's going to be uh, playing defense, and uh, same amount of girls is going to come to the plate. So, uh, in all fairness, uh, that, that's sort of it's the great equalizer. So uh, we are, we do want to welcome you, uh, those of you that are with us live and those that will be joining on demand at a later date. Again, we thank you for supporting us with your subscription to the NFHS Network. Uh, and again, on behalf of myself and the Engineering Technology Department at Bacon County High School, uh, Principal uh, Tracy Martin, Assistant Principal uh, Scott Brown, and my director, Clint Johnson. I want to thank them for their support and what we are capable of doing, as well as our athletic director, Mr. Mike Thompson. All right, I'm going to quickly go through the lineup here for the Pirates. Leading off is going to be Terry Forsman, Reese Stalvey, Kayla Rowell, Danny Wells, Savannah Sellers, Lauren Peterson, Jordan Caprino, Skylar Purvis, Emily Spence, and Molly Wilford, Williford, excuse me, round out their starting lineup. And uh, Forsman's going to lead off here. And for the Raiders, <coughs> excuse me, on the mound's going to be uh, Miss Hand. She is a sophomore, and, and you're going to hear me talk about that throughout the game. Is uh, We're just riddled with sophomores. One, two, three, four, five of the starting nine are sophomores. We do have a freshman at second base. Uh, and a couple uh, seniors round out this starting lineup for the Red Raiders on defense. Again, on the mound for the Raiders is, is Han uh, behind the plate is, let me make sure I get this correct, is Snell. And we'll just go around the horn at first base. It's Durrance. Second base, Strozier at shortstop, A.J. Third base is Booth. And then in the left field is Adams. Center field, Hodges. And in right field, I believe, I'm going to double check that when I get a number because I think my lineup, the card that I got, let me double check. I'm going to have to figure out who's in the right field because my card isn't correct, I don't think. Or it's not labeled. All right, here we go. First pitch of the game. Or this will actually be the second pitch of the game. 
non-region. First game of the regular season for the Raiders. This is the second game for the Brunswick Lady Pirates. Um, they faced Long County last week and were defeated six to nothing. My understanding, they have a freshman phenom throws it uh, over sixty miles an hour. And Long County, thankfully, is no longer in our region. Two balls, one strike. Hand came in uh, the game last week and pitched very well. Gave up a couple runs, but pitched well for about three or four innings. The ball is hit sharply to Booth. She knocks it down. Okay, and I just noticed something at shortstop. A.J. is not on the field. And so there's definitely a change in the uh, in the lineup. Must have been a game-time decision. I don't know what's going on there. Um, before I looked up when I was reading off the card, I just noticed it. This ball is lifted out of play. Ball is hammered in the center field. Oh, great catch by Zoe Hodges. Young lady made some great plays last week in our scrimmage game. So I guess officially that was our first game, but it, technically it wasn't because it will not go on the books, even though it was a, a really, really nice win for the Raiders as they came back to defeat uh, their opponent 8-7 to seven in the bottom of the seventh, uh, including a grand slam uh, in the fifth inning by Aniston Johnson. Again, I'll try to get some information on uh, on her shortly. Off-speed pitch for strike one. Runner at first. Have a slight chance of rain. Uh, just a short shower may come upon us. Stolen base there by the leadoff hitter. Forceman. Stalvey lined out to center. And this is Rowell. Throw to the third. She looks her back, but the distance between these bases gives the runners a mighty advantage offensively in those types of situations. We've got the sure out at first, though, with two down now, runner at third. Let's bring Sellers to the plate. And that four spot, uh, excuse me, the five spot, Just high and outside. Again, a good problem for this uh, Lady Raider team being young. Only a handful of seniors, uh, two juniors. I think four seniors, two juniors, nine sophomores, and six freshmen. So, uh, Coach Poff, this ball is out of uh, foul. Great play by Booth, just making the diving stop. Very similar to our uh, 
baseball team of this past year. Graduating quite a uh, ooh, quite a few. Ball's going to be fouled out of play. Had a lightning strike, a bolt of lightning. I got a feeling the girls are going to, that's what's going to happen. The girls are going to, we're going to take a break here. As that, that strike was uh, within a, a mile or two of where we were because uh, thunder came. There's the sound. Uh, when that sound goes off from our local weather station we have here installed at our high school for safety purposes, I just got the emergency email. Um, or text, excuse me. What that means is there's a red alert, and that says that we have to get off the field, get in to encourage the fans to, to take cover as well. Uh, used to, before we got this device, we had a, just an electronic device, a handheld. You had to wait a certain amount of time. Now we can. You know, this detection device um, is going to allow us to start back, hopefully as quickly as possible. Um, but uh, I tell you what, we're going to do. You know, if it looks like we're going to be uh, delayed for just a little while, we're probably just going to go off air. Mm, that was close too. We're going to go off air and come back. Uh, and what I'll do is, if you will, if if you're watching, if you will stay and pay attention to our Facebook, um, and if you're not friends with us, uh, it's BCTV Red Raider Broadcasting. If you will search for that group and ask to join, uh, I will definitely uh, let you join and then 